Let us continue playing Dwarf Fortress. So, things are done off screen. Oh, and actually, I've just thought of one more thing I can do off screen. Well, on screen. Yeah, before I start proper. Uh, we have another animal to tame, and I might do a couple of small animals, but we'll. They'll only be cancelled if not. I've set up a load of um, job queues. Uh, I've moved this down so it's now just one on one because it makes things easier on me. This is endlessly complicated and will hopefully be producing enough coal. Now, the construction over. well, the digging stuff over here. This is going to produce. Uh, is going to make another craft dwarf's place. A second to jewelers. This one will be mostly um, tasked with encrusting all of these gems, which I'm cutting with the other one. And finally, a third smelter, which will probably do nothing but to make fuel. Speaking of that, I've also set up my wood furnace to make some small units for the short term, just because. Um, that's so it was actually doing something more than anything else. This, though, is going to produce the one silver mace I need, because I'm one short on that front looking at things. Uh, some gold coins, some statues, and then, rather strangely, I'm going to make silver bolts. Silver is probably worse than copper for um, bolts, but they'll be useful for training, I guess. Other things, which I didn't actually do. I meant to do this. Well, at some stage, in fact, I'm going to do it now, we we're going to want another, um, another area. Uh, this, once I sort out the area there, is going to be our large archery area, so that will be individualised, um, Little area, so that will allow five separate um, shooting archery targets. Uh, this is going to be the main barracks, which uh, probably shouldn't be that. That will just be a corridor, and then this will be the second commander's suite. Yeah, that'll do. Then double door there. Okay, that'll work. Uh, I probably. I'm thinking of doors now, actually. Well, alright, we just have the one. Other things, if we head down here, we have uh, things that are still waiting on being built. I've queued up a few areas, as you can see on the inside there, which will eventually open up some more bedrooms for play people, including some more noble type quarters. Down here, I've set up some exploratory digging, which will, from about here, go down and search for stuff. You never know, I mean, the last LP basically we lost because we didn't search for the adamantine, and that wouldn't be such a bad thing to find right about now. Mind you, I do doubt it. Um, as for the third smelter thing, I did trade for, a, for the other iron anvil that they had, and I think I got electron bars and a couple of other small bits as well. But anyway, let's let things continue. Now, I did um, queue up the workshop here, producing all the armour, so its profile... Oh, actually, I didn't set it up. I thought I did. Right. Proficient or above, we need the armor to be good. And I'm just gonna check. Why was the thing? No, oh, whatever. How good are you? You are a talented armor smith. You're not the armor smith I thought would do this. So we do have one that's high master or something odd like that somewhere. But oh well. So why was the throne not, um... Oh, it might be because I've set all this area. I, was, I wasn't sure whether they finished engraving everything just yet, so I decided, okay, we'll just go and, um... Okay. Unsuspend that. 
I wasn't sure whether they finished, so therefore I figured, you know what, let's just clear all that area out, and then we'll be able to see what they've actually smoothed out. And also it gives all these dwarves jobs, which is important. Now one of my slight concerns, I was doing a little self-inventory. I don't think I've got an awful lot of copper left. Ow! You're going to tell me you only made the helm, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay. So we're going to have to wait on that one. What we can at least do then is go and more... S Whoops. I hate fraps. I really do. Okay, well, because I've probably messed up this recording quite badly, I'm going to actually stop, see whether I need to actually restart this. And if so, I need to restart this. Okay, two moments. Amazingly, I seem to have got away with it, so huzzah. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to set this to produce silver bolts repeatedly. Uh, I suppose... If we actually have any... We're going to go for iron crossbow, but I don't think we got any. We'll see about that. Ah oh, well. The merchants will be leaving soon. Now, other experimental bits I did here, and hey, these ones are actually going to work. Right. Wild strawberries, because why not? And prickleberries. Then in the winter, they'll move to whip vines and hydroot. In the spring, they'll go to bladeweed and rootweeds. Here, they'll go to. Whoops, what? Ah, I've messed this up a bit, haven't I? I have. Right. So that's the bottom two. Winter is supposed to go with vines. And winter hydroot. Spring blade weed. Spring root weeds. Which leads summer. Fisherberries and summer ratweed. I know we're technically missing out on long grass, but now I know I can actually do things out there. It'll work. This also now allows us to have a few more ingredients for brewing, which is always a concern. And yay. Always good to see some farming going on. Now, hopefully, silver bolts are being made. And we'll repeat that because I'm banking. We're going to make a squad of archers from out of the next group regardless. Uh, need a small tameable animal. Okay, so everything we've got currently is tamed. Let's see what we can cull. Uh. Yeah, I think we're actually okay for that. We're not low on food particularly, so we'll get away with that. Now, how's the a LP zone? LP own? I'm not sure how I'm going to pronounce. I should pronounce that. LP's own has created a masterpiece. Huzzah for you. Okay, so where are we digging? Uh, thanks for the advice on that one. Uh, let's see. Nope. Uh, I want to go to... No, that's... Ah, there we go. Right. That's right. Okay, that's actually vaguely useful. But that is very useful. That's what I wanted you to do. So now we have this little barracks area being done. We can build some doors. To build one here. 
Well, maybe a door, actually. And then we're going to build... Archery targets. Out of chalk. Archery target out of chalk. Archery target out of chalk. Archery target out of chalk. And then we want a ammo stockpile. Bef but before we do that, we want to dump all of the items that are there. Because they'll get in the way otherwise. And it gives the masses something to do. He's there to find them something to do anyway. Because this guy here... No, he's our, he's our weaponsmith. Okay, not sure why he's not quite doing anything. Uh, other thing, I expanded the food and the... Um, the bone shell stockpiles. Well, positioned for them anyway. Right, bed. Out of candle nuts, as they are. Uh, cabinets, needs cabinets. Container might have. Uh, we have a very good short coffer, actually. Okay, you can have that. Now I just need the uh, masons to do something other than doors. I have set them up, so they're probably going to be doing this for a while. Basically, that we're getting this flooring done. It's just going to take quite a while. And then I need to work out. I'm probably going to end up building the tower section of it on here because that'll just allow me to rebuild um, a separate area a bit more easily. But yeah, that's what our masons are up to. We, we seem low... No, we're definitely not low on seeds. I've just seen a load of plump helmets spawn go that way. So that area is dug out now and means I can now go build archery targets. They're out of chalk. Do we have a door? Yes we do. Right, then we can put some beds in. Dang, lungfish. Bed, bed. I've messed up the configuration of this already, haven't I? Yes, I have. Oh uh, well. Ah! Bed. There. Uh, then we need one more. So bed can go there. They need an armor stand and a weapon rack to be built. So, Mason's Workshop, Armor Stand, Weapon Rack, Promote, and Promote. So eventually, somebody will do that. <coughs> okay. More traps have built. The Doctor appears to be making more mechanisms. Silver bolts are being made. We can't make any more iron crossbows, if we could have made any, actually, come to that. Uh, silver bars, uh, silver bolts, or possibly a mace. Other things that I had, did have to do, I had to set this up as an exact match, because we are producing quite a lot of leather stuffs at the moment, and to be honest, they would just go and have all the leather stuff in spite of the fact they're supposed to have metal armour. No. We have very bad... It's very bad that we're going to have to stick with copper, but... Copper is probably marginally better than leather. Probably. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see how that goes. We do have some animal traps, after all. And there are yaks around. The cave wheat. We have... Okay. Nope. 
Wait, pause please. Um, right, so, so much for digging down there then. Remove all that. That's a lot of silver though. Oh, and rather irritatingly, because of where that is, unless I can, but I don't think I can get away with that. No, I can't. Right. The problem is, because it's on this corner, I can't just build a wall there, but I might be able to get away with building a too wide wall here if they access that area. In the meantime, though, that actually might not be a bad place to go and expand out into. The reason I'm thinking this at the moment is because if I were to set this up as Yeah, this will work. Right, this is now going to be our first barrows, which is basically where all the civilian dwarves will go in an emergency when I decree a certain state of alarm, i.e. goblins or some big terror comes um, along the surface. So in order to do that, I'm going to need stockpiles of various things here and also to turn this into um, another meeting hall which will then also be barracks barrows and we'll have um, basic food producing facilities here as well as that we found a lot of silver I assume it's silver native silver we can probably find some use for all this silver Do some exploratory stuff. I shouldn't really set this up because I do want to. Um... Yes, this is all exploratory, really. I need to find out where the limits of things are. Now, because even though we are only at risk of flying enemies, really. Ah, but oh, that's another advantage because we're directly over water. We can build a well there quite safely. Also, we need to cancel that designation. Don't want you digging that. No end, we can dig this bit out as well. Well, get more silver. Is there anything else other than silver? Nothing that's screaming out. Well, more stuff. Raw. don't want too many pets in here, but no, this will this will just be for normal things. We'll have the pet cemetery somewhere else. Whoa, migrants! Huzzah! Right, so first on the migrant wave appears to be another... Ooh, we actually have a hunter and competent Marks Dwarf. You, sir, have come at exactly the right time. So, we're going to create a archer squad. The Granite Doctorines, and they're going to be led by you. Who else do we actually have? Who, well, now we've got some people who um, have archer skills. Okay, well, sure, you can hunt. I don't mind that, but you are leading the squad. Assume you've got hunting set up as your main one, that's fine. Don't mind that. Second one is a glazier. Uh, also a competent cook. You can never have too many cooks. Well, you can. But that's what's producing the vast majority of our income, so... Okay, another hunter type, but first we have a second glazier, 
who doesn't have any abilities whatsoever. You've been conscripted, my good friend. You're going to join, and you are an animal dissector uh, and a skilled student, so you can learn quite fast. You know what? You two have just been conscripted. Welcome to the militia. Now, I'm going to set this up, equip... Uh, no, not you. Exact matches. So they're going to take all of our leather stuffs. And presumably, then, you already have one. Which isn't necessarily out of the question, because they do... Copper crossbow, left hand. Not a very good make. Okay. What we'll then do is go through the nightmare of sorting this out. Right, the hunters get a hundred. They're gonna need... 150. 50 each, and... There's a masterwork silver bolts there. For both combat and training, because meh, we're producing quite a lot of silver bolts. We then want an uh, ammo stockpile. And the ammo stockpile will go here. Do we have an armor stand? Yes, we do. Do we have a weapon rack? Yes, we do. Do we have some doors? No. Right. So make this a bedroom. Uh, yeah, it can extend on a bit. So it is a barracks for the granite doctrines who will train, sleep, individually equip. Actually, I don't have to sleep there necessarily, but individual equip, squad equip. This room will be assigned to our militia captain. This will be made into an a mass archery range once I actually have doors put in. In the meantime though, we can set this up to be um, the archery range. And they shoot bottom to top. They will train there. Very importantly now, in order to get them to do this, and this never works brilliantly and I've tried many methods and for some reason it always seems to give me a hiccup getting them to actually train their shooting skills. First off they must have quivers, that shouldn't be a problem we've been building them. Secondly they must have ammo and weapons. So that's what we'll do next. We already know from your equipment that you've got one but we're gonna replace that I think for one of a better quality. A specific weapon. So he has silver warhammer, copper crossbow, well made. Is the best one we got, so that's yours. You are going to have a specific weapon. Nope, don't get blowguns. You're gonna have the bronze crossbow. And then you are going to have a specific weapon. Copper crossbow. Right, next up we have to set up their schedule. And their schedule happens has to be a lot different. We set this to one for the moment because there's only three of them. Copy. Now in theory, they will train um, normally in the barracks, but when they're off duty, they will endeavour to um, so just wait this out here. Yeah. Active. And I've just got to make sure my they're set on alerts so that Yep, they're both active on a um, civilization active training. Okay. So when they're actually on duty, they will train in the barracks. When they're off duty, they will train in the archery range. 
hopefully. We shall see how well this works though, because I'm not 100% convinced it will. Yay, it works! We have somebody who is actually shooting at something! Yes, please get out of the way, dog. That's not the best place to stand. Okay. Already this has worked. That normally takes me ages to get this far. Ages. Right, we have ten a lot of dwarves not doing anything. Uh, we have 32 dwarves in, we have lots of drink, we have lots of meat. And now I can expand the stockpile slightly. So settings, refuse, forbid, forbid, forbid. And then we want to, actually we'll leave the other stockpiles fine really. Lots of leather being made, good. This is the advantage of buying all those leather bins quite a, quite a lot earlier. Archery practice. And thankfully that would appear to be getting done now. It'll, wait, it'll waste quite a few shots doing this, but this is why we go f again for silver bolts up here. Because it will help. In fact, they're not doing that anymore. Silver bolts repeat. You can keep doing that until um, things get done. How long is... Actually, I need to find out where my stockpiles are and... Um, sort this out, but how are we doing here? Zinc, brass, soap. I have some copper bars. We have some more copper bars. One electron bars we can't really use. Lots of coke, lots of coke. Empty bin. I think we need a lot of copper and we just don't seem to be generating it. Plump helmet spawn, we're out of that. Hey, harvest! That's always a good thing to see. And also, we're continually brewing, which is another good thing to see. Also, a good thing to see? That room's almost done! means we get to have a bit of fun now. And not fun in the usual way you refer to Dwarf Fortress as being fun. Right, midway through the video, um, time-wise anyway. Are we producing anywhere near enough copper to actually make this sustainable? Having the catch in the river. No doubt we have enough silver now to just continually make bolts until the end of time. Okay. That did I not say that to repeat? I must not have done. We don't have any oh okay. Alright, so we we've produced too much copper and don't have enough silver. Right. Okay, not a problem. Go and cancel that job again then. Okay, so yeah, we definitely need a third smelter. And if I could find out where my um, miners are, I'm actually going to start cutting their duties off again. Because whatever they're doing, they're not quite doing what I want. And... See, in no time whatsoever, you've already become a novice. Which is phenomenal. So we have statues now. Let's see if they're any good. Gold statue of dwarves, which isn't good, and 
and that's not that good either. You have disappointed me. You really, really have. Right. Start double smelting tetrahedra. It does occasionally produce silver, one in five, but... Clearly we need more. Cancels butcher and animal needs butcherable and rotten nearby item. Ah! Somebody's on the hunt! Which is fine, that's what he's supposed to do. And he'll drag the corpse back because I've got that set up, so hopefully they'll now extract that for meats. Uh, needs unrotten rotten cookable stock. Oh god! I shouldn't really say oh god because we do have um, quite a fair amount. I don't mind them being cooked actually. Now that we are producing more of them. Hmm. I'm not sure I like this. Uh, where did we get a donkey fowl from? Oh, that must have come with the. Um, ah, that must have come with the thing. Okay, no worries there. Out of cages. So we can make some more cages over here. Since we have plenty of woods um, under supply, something is starved to death. Whoops. Is it just me or are things starting to seemingly go a bit out of control? Okay, um, I'd rather not have dog explosion if that's what's just about to happen. But that was a double. Okay, um, I suppose that's not too much of a problem because actually we can train dogs for war animals and things. Alright, you have no job, but you are a great level worker. And somebody else. Locum is doing the lever working. He's proficient at it, I guess, but... It does annoy me sometimes when that happens. Okay. Labor. Furnace operating. It's probably irrelevant because we have enough people to do it, but... We need to start turning over this quite rapidly. Right, let's see how we are with um, armour. So I wouldn't be surprised if this squad's already fully equipped. You know what, I'm surprised, they're not even... Oh god, I've just had a Noah fault. Please don't tell me that. Oh god. Ah! Okay. Um, yes. Okay, so if I go to any member of our military here... Inventory. Yeah, you're using a lot of... Alright. So once they've eventually unequipped themselves and we kind of know how things are supposed to go... Oh dear. Right, hopefully in a few moments we'll actually um, be able to find out what our actual squads are supposedly equipped with. That's better. Right, as you can see, we are quite limited. We need footwear twice. We need everything really, but ooh, third sta third gold statue. Whoever's making the gold statues is rubbish. I bet gold statues go for 
Oh, they, they're ridiculously good if you can get them made. Alright, armor, copper. So, we had the helm. We'll go double gauntlet, double high boot, buckler, leggings, breastplate. No, actually, was it breastplate or mail shirt? We'll go breastplate anyway. Oh, and helm. Go. Right, let's get our armour onto things. And hope we're making enough copper. We can see we have enough copper, but... Now we do need more silver. So that'll do. You're our supreme armor smith of supremeness. No, actually, you're our doubling hammer, doubling spear, doubling thing. And it's our other armor smith who's making things at the moment. And please don't run out of copper bars instantly. That would depress me too much. Thankfully, it seems like both of them are going at full speed, which is helpful. I said I really want my third smelter online. Speaking of which, uh, well, not speaking of which, but I just observed it, so we should want to claim all of those. Meanwhile, let's see how the one... Ah, you're the other guy. And yeah, individual combat drill. Talented Mark Dwarf, competent archer, competent dodger. Adequate strand extractor. Useful job if we can find out a mountain, but a bit more of a task behind that now. Let's see if I can find out where all my miners are. I've got a feeling they're going to be down here doing this. Which is fine. So, define burrows. To add one. Uh, define this burrow as there to there. And we've got to name this Underground Bunker. Ah, oh, no, we'll just go with underground. Right, now, next job. Can we seal this place in? Build a wall, if possible. Yes, we can build a wall as long as they build it correctly. What are the chances of dwarves building this correctly? I'm betting zero. That's a lot of silver, though. What we can also do go build a well needs open space okay designation we want to dump uh, that log will do and we can wait on that Lots of silver. Lots of nickel as well, although that's less useful to us, really. Uh, I think we want to dig out some more of that, so we'll set that as a dig instruction at some stage. That'll get some more um, copper ore. Meanwhile, Mace Dwarf has become attached to a silver mace. And we're out of food storage items, and that would be... Oh, excellent. Okay. Uh, things are starving to death. Alright, so this will be then our jeweler's workshop. Number 
to and will produce oh, basically actually um, just encrust all the things we are cutting some more copper bars I see that's good bad feeling but no actually no that's continuing right so oh awesome okay so they are fully equipped this is getting there now they're forced to wait for exacting matches and certain people are becoming attached to certain weapons We're going to check. I'll have to check the status of a few people in a moment. Now, please go and finish for nine by nine before you. Yeah, excellent. Right, build another furnace smelter number three. Add some chalk. Then build another craft dwarf place. Workshop shop craft dwarf. There, out of chalk. Right, now we just wait for those to get done. Come okay, on, somebody. Oh, I see. Everybody's gone and um, gone to sort this little thing out. I just get oh oh the caravans arrived ah okay no no, no. all right that's an interrupt that's a reason to interrupt me uh, just working out where things are oh, there we are all right so the broker is required requested at depot I would move some goods out in fact I should move some goods over. We have a few things that are already there, as you can see. We want to sort by value. 28 goat tallow biscuits, masterly made. Oh dear. We have a lot of good stuff. Don't want the armor bin. Dwarven bit. You cook the beer! Shame on you. Uh, guess we can take a gold dwarf statue, even though it's not technically very valuable. Gem bin, gem bin, prepared food pots, prepared food pots. A couple of nearby barrels of things. I think food was one of the things they were going to trade slightly higher. Oh, and some gold coins. Right, let's see some goods moves up there, and then let's see... See some dwarves doing some trading. But I have more strawberries. Had a very good yield out of those, actually. Merchants have arrived and are unloading. but I don't actually see him, which is a bit unusual and disconcerting and... Come on! You know, it would be very useful if you went and traded. Delboy will now be chased around for the next four billion years by the liaison. But that is how it works. Actually, we can build the doors in. The Masons are still doing this, aren't they? Yeah, I thought they might be. Uh, ah, there we are. Right. 
Well, it is very good that you do that. We're going to turn your job, mining job off again. So you'll actually do what we want you to do for a bit. Because we need a few things that they are probably selling. Okay. Trade and oh yes. Oh yes. First things first. Don't necessarily need the sterling. Actually, no, we do want the silver bars. We want all of those. Oh, that's good. I don't think blocks are actually helpful to us, but. Because we wanted the stones rather than the blocks. Lots of wood. Which is slightly higher price than normal because we asked for them. Uh, let's see, a couple of donkeys, another dog in a cage would be possibly useful. Uh, wine barrel, beer barrel, milk, 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 ale, milk, 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 rum, barrel of lye. Iron crossbow. Well made iron crossbow. Yes, well made bronze crossbow. Yes. Uh, Bismuth bronze shield, maybe. Oh, here we go. Seeds. How much did we need this, um, this caravan? I'll tell you. Lots. Lots of leather. Lots of leather. And that should be enough, but we'll take some more. What else have we got? Uh, bolts. Uh, less interest in those. Some plump helmets. Various cheeses. Oh, and some eggs. Right, so I now have to balance this out. This could actually be quite difficult because I didn't actually bank on this. Goods bin. Just to make sure there's nothing to um, the chalk jug is quite good, but actually there's nothing there that I wouldn't mind going without. And he's got a profit of three thousand. He should go for that. Now, because we're nice and because we want to um, keep, because I feel like it, we're going to offer all of that to their leader. Okay. Broker is no longer, oops, Broker is no longer requested depot, and if I quickly catch you, I'm going to turn mining back on, off you go. Also, I've just noticed, oh, this design needs masonry. Right, let's start encrusting finished goods with that, repeatedly. Uh, encrust furniture repeatedly. Encrust finished goods repeatedly. Encrust furniture repeatedly. Clear zircon. Encrust furniture repeatedly. Encrust finished goods repeatedly. Uh, quartz is quite cheap actually, so we can encrust ammo. Uh, green tourmaline. Finished goods. Black Zircon Encrust Furniture. Repeat. And then I guess cut them. Okay. 
So that nicely balances the other place. Next up, we need the Craft Dwarf um, place to go, Rock Pots, Rock Hive, because we might as well continue building more of those. Uh, could make wooden bolts, I guess. Oh, actually, thinking about this, bone leggings, bone greaves, bone helmets, because all of that counts as heavy armour, I'm fairly certain. I'm not sure how good it is, but meh, we have lots of bones. Things are starving to death, so we certainly have lots of bones. Um, that might become useful to us. They still haven't done any of that yet. But you will note that, except for a couple of single bits, actually, why is that built like that? They haven't finished it yet, but yeah. But the engraving's almost done. You know what? We want to engrave all of the floor. Go. This is going to be fun. Especially as we've got to have somebody who's at least reasonably good at this by now. I just noticed... Hey, I've caught the start of winter. It's been a while since I've done that. Well, we got lots of seeds. We got lots of... Um, we got lots of bars, which we'll use our third smelter, probably, to convert to steel. Then we'll go and make some proper steel armaments for things. We have... The basics of a um, well, we have the start of a squad of archers on the way. Things seem to be going wrong. Well, I get my masons to do something up and build the um, floor, possibly, but I don't know. The pessimist in me says things are going wrong. Anyway, this is Shadowhawk 2012, and I'll see you in the winter. Until then. <laughs>